Okay, here we are at the Urban Quail Ranch. It's fall, and it's just an okay day out. And I just kind of scraped up some wet litter and put some dry. And where it was dry, I just kind of looked for eggs. and So they're all sitting around talking to each other, discussing things. And I gave them, they aren't too happy when I fool around with their stuff, but I gave them this little thing to play with, which is kind of like a little run through, like a little tent or a place to be. Um, and my review on this, which is uh, my new waterer, I'm pretty happy with it. So when I took, I put the old waterer in and last time I changed it and I just, it was a crazy because it works on a kind of a vacuum principle and if the floor is not totally even or if it's not hanging it just drools out the edge and keeps going so I had put a whole bunch of uh, paper towels and it was dry in here and that but I thought ah I need a new design because it's just too heavy for me to this one's nice it's not super small like a starter one and what you do is you just grab it by the handle there and when you turn it the other way there's a, a spin on top and there's an inside plug so you f clean it fill it up put the uh, snap the little plug into the cap and then you put the cap on and just set it aside and the bottom part is in two and it actually has a, um, cause don't you sometimes do it every second day and then stuff gets in there and you just get the stuff out. So if you're giving them clean water every second day, you can see there's mesh in there and it's actually a separate piece and it lifts straight up. So I put it directly on the ground. I took away everything around here and I was going to do the whole entire thing, and then I thought, well, you know what, it doesn't smell at all. And it's dry, so I just topped it up, and, you know, they need to have stuff to snuggle down in. And they're really resting a lot. Like, this is what I hoped, that they wouldn't go into crazy production of eggs in the winter time, fall and winter. So I'm okay with that they're not, um, I only got like about seven eggs or something. So the new ones don't seem to be producing. There's a, just a few males in there. This one here is Frankie. He's sitting with an older girl. She's shrinking. And he had words with me because he didn't like that I was cleaning up, but he's okay now. He checked out all the corners and checked out everywhere else to make sure everything's okay. And I discovered something interesting about Bumblefoot because I am new at this and I really don't have any preconceived ideas I go on the internet and I look if I've got a problem and try to solve it now it would seem that everybody is saying oh it's a system thing biohazard one one gets it the other gets it but I I suspect it's like because they have tender tootsies and they have crevices like creases they step on food. Now it's different if, if they're stepping on poo because I got a, what I'll call some rescue quails um, about two years ago and they had cemented feet. It looked like cement and their feet couldn't move and I went oh my god. So instead of starting off what I thought was going to be starting off a relationship with them I had to actually hold them, their feet, in warm water. Like, thanks. A young girl from Niagara Falls gave me that. And, like, I just sprung into action. I couldn't, you know. It took, like, an hour and a half. It was horrible. But anyways, Bumblefoot is different where it looks like a round black thing. And then I thought, I discovered um, one that I missed, and it got really bad, and... Uh, when I was soaking it off with Epsom salts, it just came off. 
after about the fifth day, it was really bad bumble. And then another little girl inside here, like this is the girl that was uh, I'm taking care of before she goes in there, and uh, that male doesn't have any problem. And I did put um, paper towels in there, and that's a soft kind of um, wire. It's not hard wire. But I was thinking, oh, I'll give them paper towel. But then after I was making all this headway, she stepped on her own poo, or sorry, not poo, um, a piece of, of the food. And 